All right, I want versatile roads that don't sit on the grass. Now, here's my take on it. Let's go. All right, guys, real quick, less than a minute to talk about the concept of the board. So I built this about a year, year and a half ago, and two of the things it lacked for me was length and it was sat too high up on the table. So I knew I always wanted to rebuild it. Now, the concept behind it is to have one set piece of road and then use scatter terrain to kind of direct the road. Now, I built this board with flocking sand and glue and then some watered down glue to seal it all in. But the new board I needed... I wanted to make it reversible so I could use wilderness and road, so I went with paint. But the scattered terrain, I will use the technique. Now, here's a short list. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to glue that chipboard to the foam core. Now, I used the brush to kind of brush it on, but you can use your hand and finger, get messy. It's all the same thing, really. Now I went ahead and just glued it right to the foam core because I'm just going to trim it later and get a more precise cut. But I know that I wanted a one by two foot board uh, to start with, kind of like my centerpiece, and then build one by one boards around it. So I went ahead and just glued them. Here's the cuts. Now this is movie magic, but uh, when I start getting close to the edge, I kind of make sure that my knife is straight so that I'm not making a bevel on it. Now I want my reversible, so rinse, repeat. Don't worry too much about the amount of glue that you use because when you attach that second foam board, it pretty much evens out and it's gonna be flush for the most part, as long as you put some nice weight on it and let it cure uh, in time. Usually about a 24 hour cure time for each side. Now, this is my second foam board, I'm just kinda eyeballing the edge i do leave a little bit off the edge but and then go ahead and weigh it down get your nice books there um trying to get the heaviest books and then there it is just trying to seal it all up and then the cuts now again this is movie magic but i'm trying to make my cut as straight as possible so that i don't bevel those edges and then when i start making the one by one boards to kind of complement it they butt up right against it all right phase two peel and texturize if you can't get the paper off go ahead and use alcohol swabs now i went ahead and used that blue ball not the yellow ball to give it a more subtle texture than aluminum foil aluminum foil gives a nice rough stone texture i didn't want that all said and done let's move the paint pewter gray granite gray phase three now, I went ahead and just squirted a little bit on in little sections there and then went ahead with the granite gray to do that. Now, I used a brush to kind of spread it, but not mix the paint. I did my best try to not mix that paint. All right, here's the second layer. I call this the ground undercoat, whatever you want to call it, but nice healthy umber brown, a little bit of that medium brown, and then some dabs of that uh, desert sand brown, and then just went ahead and dabbed. Now, try to avoid smearing it like I did in the middle there so that the colors don't mix. You want to have blotches of multiple colors all over the place. So that's going to help peek through when you do this umber brown. All right, let's move on to the measuring. So I'm measuring on the sides there every four inches. And I'm just kind of visualizing four by four sectors. It's going to help me build scatter terrain later and kind of help me map out the roads. Now, the roads from those four by four sectors are a half inch in. So the roads are going to be three inches wide. And that's going to be helpful again to remember when I start building scatter terrain. All right. So I've been showing the paints that I've been using, but you really go ahead and use whatever you really want. Just try to use two or three paints in the same shade gradient to add that natural realism. But I just went ahead and chose these. Now, the way that I mixed them, I used the green. I just did it in a plate. But you can see how I just did blotches. And then I made sure I just kept blotching it. I wanted all those colors separate. I did not want them mixed. So I went ahead and chose the spun application for this just for the way that the sponge applies the paint. 
I still wanted those blotches to show through. And brushing it on gives a different different stroke, a different texture. And this is the one I wanted. Just going ahead, filling it in, and then overlapping it. Did the roads first, and then did the grass to kind of overlap into it. I'm trying to cover up those Sharpies. Try not to use a Sharpie when you measure it out. Use something more subtle. I made a mistake. Now, I went ahead and used a coarse bristle brush to kind of do the edging. And I like how it came out. And then I chose some deeper browns to do the middle to show kind of like how people walk through. Now, this picture is to show you can do a more mud look or you could do a more grass look. All right, and some end shots here. So you can see how I blocked off that one road up there with the rock. And you could really use anything. I'm going to use hills later on. Here's some crossroad pictures. So you can see I opened it up here. Maybe an encounter right here. And then on the flip side, there's a wilderness board. I minus the roads, but it's the same techniques as before. And that's it. All right, guys. So, man, Humble, thank you for watching. 50 people, man, that think I'm worth their time. So, man, that's really cool. That is a really cool feeling. So, follow me on Twitter at Craftnix. Come friend me on Facebook or do the wall thing or just don't unfriend me. And, um... Like, share, subscribe, bell, and I'm going to see you guys on the 20. Again, humble, man. Thank you. What up? You ready? Get up. What up, world? It's your boy, Sos. All I want to do is hang with no rope. Have a good time. Bang with no folk. Spit a little rhyme. I just bring with all quotes. Microphone feed. Rock him inspired. Nas mob deep. Pumping through the tires. Did the twist and the whip and grip like flyers. Spit fire at my homie. He got fired up. Me and Rock heavy on the cuts. Rap machete. The raps are ready. The tracks are ready.